Hey, welcome to Movies and Munchies. I'm Lauren Craig. And I'm Billiana Reyes. And today, my pick for the movie is Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. This is actually Chadwick Boseman's last movie before he passed away. Rest in peace. It is set in Chicago in the 1920s. This movie is about Ma Rainey, who is a queen of soul, R&B, blues. blues music. Kind of started from people coming mm -hmm. to like a little small setting to her now like having this record deal. I would say the main characters are Ma Rainey and Chadwick Boseman's character. He was the trumpeteer and he has all these issues with the band mm -hmm. going on. He has a big personality, a lot going on mm -hmm. in his life. And for our munchies, we are gonna try Botan rice candy. I didn't know it was Botan, but I think it's Botan. I actually got this at the Asian store and I was like, oh, like I've had this when I was little, but I haven't had it now. And I was like, well, let's make Lauren have an experience with Asian candy. So it says free children's sticker inside, so we'll see what you oh. get, Lauren. And it's made in Los Angeles. <laughs> of Japan okay, okay. and there is no milk always got to check that but it does contain soybeans there are no calories because it's not on the box <laughs> here you go oh, wow. I will show you how to open or how to eat it because you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like what the f and this is your sticker Lauren <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those V apps. Yeah. Characters. <laughs> and although it has a wrapper on it, it's a rice wrapper, so you eat it with it. Wow. Yeah. This is so interesting. Yeah. So. Okay. And you could chew on it. And then oh, yeah, it's the chewy. wrapper oh, no, it's gonna be like melts. Look at it. It looks like I just did cocaine or yeah. I did not. So when you first have it, the texture is like very hard. So it does yeah. feel like a hard candy. But when you put it in your mouth, it starts melting. <laughs> Lauren! <laughs> yeah, the rice paper on the outside makes a very interesting choice. When you first put it in your mouth, it tastes like a, an actual wrapper. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of starts to melt, which is kind of cool. It's interesting that they put that with the candy, like those two textures. Mm -hmm. I would not have thought to do myself. I don't know. I. Didn't love it? Oh. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's just an experience. I wanted to give you an experience from it a is, different world. It is definitely from <laughs> LA. <laughs> what would you rate it? <laughs> I didn't really like the flavor. Yeah, you don't like the guava flavor. And I didn't really like the candy, but I thought it was interesting. Okay, I just wanted you to try it. I think I would probably give this like a two. A two? That's not bad for something you tried and didn't know. I would give this a three. I could only have like one or two. It's not like a move very much. You kind of like, you know, pop one kind of thing. And also, there's other flavors, okay. but guava is like the main one. I don't even know if it's guava. It just tastes like guava. <laughs> <laughs> no information on this book. Yeah, no calories, no flavor. You get what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, you fine looking girl. Hey, you fine looking girl. <laughs> to the beach or I feel to like, like a beach <laughs> club. Maybe like a winery or like yeah. shopping. All right, my first question for you is, okay, let me start by saying this. Throughout the movie, Levy, Levy. Chevy like a Levy. Yeah. Yes, Levy. Okay. <laughs> Most of this movie took place in one day. We did get a little sneak peek of Levy kind of pissing my rating off before this at a different concert where he stepped up and like tried to take over without anyone knowing. But he is like, kept causing all these issues, kept getting in all these arguments, kept like stressing everybody out. Did you wish you had more context from different days of how he is? Is he just volatile and crazy every day? Or is this just like, he's just on one and like going crazy one day? I was more into like, why are we not knowing about other characters? Like we see him talking half of the movie, like Ma didn't even talk as much. I don't know, I wasn't like invested in him because I felt like we already knew so much about him. How is he holding down a job when he's acting like this if, it, if it's an every time thing? Yeah. So that's what I kind of wish I had a little more context into. Okay, so my first question to you is the intro of this where they're in the band area. And 
and they were using, I guess, New Orleans slang or like talk. Was it hard for you to understand that dialogue? It was kind of hard. It was kind of a lot yeah. going on. Of course, they had like the little segment of like, no, with like little, a little crowd compared to before they go into right. that band room. I was like, oh, okay, it's starting out good. And then when it started doing that home monologue, I was like, wait. <laughs> and after a while, I just gave up because I was like, oh, like, is it going to be like this? And it was like that for like a few couple yeah. minutes. I, I'm kind of familiar with the accent because my parents which is like less than an hour from New Orleans, so like. Growing but up is it like Orleans, that when they're talking? It's not not people. It's in not in Baton Rouge. Rouge. There are some people in Baton Rouge and like that area who do like have that same accent. Mm-hmm. But if you go to New Orleans and you talk to like locals there, a lot of them have that like oh. strong. Yeah, and I'm definitely not an expert, but I'm just saying I've been around it. Like, yeah, to know growing it. up. Mm-hmm. And stuff. This movie, I think, because it was filmed all in one it was supposed to be like an all in one day mm-hmm. it's like the whole movie and like all these things go wrong Ma already needs to be kind of a diva oh we have to stop because I need my coke and then they have to go get the coke yeah. I guess my question is do you think that the way that they shot it they did it on purpose that way to make it make the audience feel that this has been a long day I didn't really think about that but now that you mentioned it yes I feel like they wanted to make you be a part of that band and like experience how like frustrated is just waiting and like wanting to do something but can't so it puts you in there emotionally as well which a lot of movies don't do Mm -hmm. i thought they did that in a really nice Mm -hmm. way that they really made you feel like i'm at work (laughs) (laughs) now we have to deal with this diva (laughs) let's talk about levy being a psycho to toledo and stabbing him what the on his shoe. It was crazy. He had been like so testy through the whole movie, so volatile, and especially near the end, like he got fired. Yeah. And then that set him off. Like you could tell he was going through a lot emotionally. Even before that, whenever he was talking about how his mom got raped and like his dad got killed yeah. and all this stuff, like he was kind of like opening up a lot. It was kind of showing why he's kind of like this. Yeah. And then the guy was like, no, I'm not going to use yeah. you. About them songs I'll give you. They're not the right songs. I don't take them off your hands for you. After he like put all this time and effort into it, it just snapped. And like, it was like the straw that broke the camel's back. I thought he wasn't going to do something that crazy to hurt someone. Yeah. Like maybe hurt himself and not like to kill someone he's been like touring around the right. world with for years for a like... shoe but those were nice yellow shoes they got to admit that those were nice yeah i like yellow so they're not kill worthy but yeah not kill worthy <laughs> they made it feel so interesting whenever you're watching like they really made you feel yeah like, like you're oh, you're in there with yeah him. like you're not just watching at a theater you're like actually a part of the character yes yeah because the way they did they didn't even i don't even think they added music to it i also wanted to talk about the way that the other people reacted to like he died right there yeah and they didn't like comfort him and they weren't like oh my gosh yeah, 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 yeah. they just like were like it really made me feel like what can be done yeah life is gone mm-hmm. over nothing it is a mix between fact and fiction according to the one google thing that i read <laughs> ma Rainey's real the other characters levy and toledo were fictional yeah so the story is like a mix of fact and fiction as i said earlier this was chadwick boseman's last movie before he passed away from cancer and you could tell in the movie that he was he had lost a lot of weight he was wanting to talk about the long hours on set for people that don't know and how draining it is. And 12 hours. That's like yeah, on that's a good average day. day. Yeah. 12 hours. I mean, people work 8 hour shows, like a 9 to 5 job, but like actors and background work 12 hours. That's like, if you're a main actor, you're there even longer. But yeah. If you're a background, you're usually there longer than everyone else. Yeah. And then crew members. Oh, man. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> You are like a main actor in production it's very emotionally draining mm-hmm. because to do all those takes if yeah. you're like crying or like angry yeah and he did that filmed an entire full-length movie while he's like suffering his yeah. life. and then also to not tell anyone about it yeah so like you saw black panther and he was pretty fit yeah and then you saw another movie where he was like pretty skinny and everyone was like oh like he's on a diet he's doing something like he's preparing for his next movie 
but little did everyone know that he was actually sick. And I feel like that's a really good example of don't judge a book by its cover. And you never know what someone else is going through. And you can't judge them because you're not in their shoes. Right. So my question for you is, what about Ma's makeup? I feel like maybe they made her makeup like that in the movie on purpose. On purpose to make it like a little more jarring make her seem like a little more like older intense. yeah so i feel like maybe that was like part of her like diva because she was always like you know who i am like yeah get him uh uh-uh, i'm not dealing with that you know what i mean <laughs> like what did you think about her being such a diva so at the beginning i thought she was a diva but as the movie progressed and she explained why i was like okay now i understand like she has a manager and her manager is not even doing like the minimum of getting her a coat or protecting her and that's his job is to protect her and get her what she wants i mean she's a talent without her voice you don't have a record without her, you don't have like her tour you don't get any money from her yeah. so i understood that she had to like fight and claw her way to get what she wanted all they want is my voice but it's just so sad to see that as a woman and a woman of color that she was treated that way yeah. and it's like a harsh reality of her. that's just how life was that yeah and then even at the end they were trying to like jip her yeah recognize too and she was like uh-uh i'm not I'm having it yeah. and then like he came up and she's like you know why you changed your mind because you realize i haven't started the release yet yeah and that's the only reason and she's like so smart about it yes. too. She like wants to get everything done, but she, she doesn't know that, or she doesn't want you to know that she has the last word. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think? I would rate this a four. That was between a three and a four. The only reason why it's a four is because it was in one location and it was very drawn to watch because I like going back and forth, as you know, with my action and all these other crazy things I make you watch. Yes. But I also understood why they did that is because they wanted you to be a part of the movie, not mm-hmm. just watch it. Yeah. That was it. And then I also love all the actors. I mean, who's playing the children? This is his last movie, and just like all his energy, yeah, putting into it, knowing that now, knowing now that he was sick during that time. And Viola Davis. Yes. Wow. What a transformation. What a transformation. <laughs> I I totally agree. I also rated it a four. Um, after like right after I watched it, I was like five, 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 five. Yeah, yeah. So great ending was awesome i love where they got to with the movie but i just wish i had more context like i said earlier around lovey's character how he is every day just more in general about him and also more about the other characters as well even though they performed great it was a little heavy on the monologue yes because it was still amazing yes (laughs) which is fine (laughs) Good. Awesome! Hey! <laughs> okay. Whoa, that was only five 